Police emergency, what's your location? Hi, I'm in the room. Okay, um, what's happening? Uh, my son's killed someone. The caller you hear on the 999 call is Donna Del Bono, who I believe deserves honour and respect. She done what a proper mother should do. Okay, all right, okay. Can you tell me where? Um, it was at Radstock earlier. He's just come back. I've just found out he's in my house now, but I can't does, let him go anywhere. Does he know you're on the phone? Yeah, he's here. When you injured that guy in the red top, yeah. what happened to the knife? The knife? Mm. I chucked it straight away. You chucked it? Yeah. Where did you chuck it? Um, we were, you were literally just in the thing, and in the moment I just launched it. So it could be under a car, it could be on the floor. The male voice you hear is Joshua Del Bone from Throne. This week he was sentenced to life in prison with the minimum of 21 years for the brutal murder of 16-year-old Charlie Bates. At around 6.30pm on the 31st of July, Joshua drove to a car park with his friends located near the library at Radstock, just off Church Street. Around the same time, another car pulled up. These two groups of very young men had a history of bad blood. It was believed they knew an argument or fight was going to take place. So the occupants of both cars exited the vehicles, but Joshua stayed inside. It was reported they thrown insults at each other, and it wasn't long before a fight broke out. It was then Joshua decided to exit the car, with a five-inch knife in hand. He stabbed Charlie Bates multiple times. Charlie received a stab wound to the arm and a fatal stab wound to his heart. Seconds later, Joshua and his friends fled the scene. As they fled the scene, Joshua shouted, Don't mess with us again. In the audio, you hear Joshua say he threw the knife at the scene, which was untrue. He would later confess to throwing the knife in Shearwater Lake. He then burned his clothes, but one of the occupants of the car filled him doing this and the police recovered the footage. This helped solidify his sentence. Joshua thought he was a gangster. Joshua thought his bros had his back. Joshua thought his mother would have his back. But our Queen Donna, she had honour. When he returned home after midnight, he told his mother what he had done. At around 12.45, Donna instantly called the police to report her own son. The fear was shaking in her voice as she explained to the female 999 operator how she told Josh it was something that had to be done and she could not let him go anywhere. Finally, a woman, a queen who doesn't follow the spineless culture of protecting your own, but a woman who served her community in the most honourable way possible. Donna chose to honour a life and not a knife. I hope my viewers can join me in celebrating this queen. In my eyes, she deserves our respect. And all I can say is thank you, Donna.